everybody and welcome back to my channel for another video. I'm super excited to have you guys here today for another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a really exciting L3 haul. I do want to say so apologies for having my hair up in a second video in a row. I typically don't wear my hair up in videos. Um, I don't know why but it is super hot here. I know I know I'm in Washington. It's probably not nearly as hot as it is in other states, but like for me and for this time of year, this is really warm. It typically doesn't get up to 100 degrees. If it ever does, it's not up to like close to 100 degrees until probably like end of July or August and it's like the end of June. So I'm super warm. I'm hoping none of this stuff is melted. I've actually been having pretty good luck with my stuff not coming melted. So I'm super thankful for that. Um, but yeah, I'm really hot. Sorry about... <laughs> Sorry about the hair up. Um, but yeah, so Jennifer did a restock on her website actually last Friday. Jennifer is amazing. First of all, I love Elf. I think for me, I'm, I'm kind of learning like my getting my footing a little bit in the vendor vac vendor wax world. And I think what's going to work for me is having a few vendors, um, aside from Sensi, obviously, that I'm going to purchase from. And I think L3 is totally going to be one of those. Um, because there are so many vendors, I think if I just keep buying from a bunch of different vendors, it's going to be really easy for like me to overwhelm myself. And so for me, I think it's what's going to work best like I said, is to have a few vendors like L3 um, that I kind of just keep coming back to because I really like the quality of the wax and I like the blends that she does. She has a lot of really unique blends. Um, she's also amazing at getting stuff shipped out super quickly. I do want to note, I live in Washington. She's down in Oregon, so it's not like it has to come up super far. It's only one state, um, but it always gets here super, super quickly, which is always all obviously always exciting. Sorry, already tongue tied. Um, this is the sticker that she sent this month and it says, be proud of who you are. Um, I'm assuming this has to do with pride month. There is an item in here that was like a limited edition pride month thing. Um, and so I'm excited to share that with you guys and, um, kind of just walk through everything else that I got. I tried to stick with, so I'm at the point where I'm ready to start specifically with vendor wax because it does, I do like to have it cure. That's what I've heard from everyone else. Everyone says to cure it. Um, so I am trying to cure my wax for about a month, um, two weeks to a month. I've heard also that kind of the longer, the better. Um, so with that being said, I've been trying to start buying like fall scents because if I think about it, if I get them now, have them cure for like most of the month of July, then we're in August. I'm full fall mode by August. Like I, I decorate for like fall <laughs> in August. I know some people are probably gonna be like, that's crazy, but that's what I love. Um, I love fall and winter. So anyways, let's jump into this. I do have a few packing peanuts here on the top. So I'm just gonna brush those off and then I'm just gonna dig in. Like, I'm just gonna go. Um, I basically only got, I actually, I got a lot of stuff, sorry. Um, I got some basic Betty Loaves. I got puppy packs, I got buns, and I think that's it. I also got a Dum Dum. This is fruit punch, so I will for sure eat that or my boyfriend will eat it. He loves sweets. I don't know about you guys, but I'm more of like a, like if I'm craving something, I usually end up craving like salty rather than sweet. Maybe you guys could let me know down below in the comments what you think. Um, so I'm just going to jump in. I literally am just going to pull and um, talk about the stuff. So I think I'm going to start actually with the bunts because they're sort of kind of in the front. Um, I am making a huge mess right now though. Um, and then I'll, I guess I'll end off with the samples. So I'll do bunts, the fluted tarts, the four pack fluted tarts, loaves, and then end with samples. So in the bunts, I got two of the pear soda pop saltwater mermaid. I actually requested for this. She's awesome too about like asking for requests for re for like what people want to have poured um, for restocks and pre-orders. I think I requested this in a loaf in the pre-order and I don't think it made the list, but I got this in the Saltwater Mermaid sample and it's so good. Like the soda pop mixed with the Saltwater Mermaid really just like elevates that Saltwater Mermaid. And so it's super like fizzy, fresh. 
I know I was just saying I was trying to buy fall scents and then I got this, which is totally like spring summer to me. But this is a scent that I could see myself warming in like the bathroom all year round. So obviously, well, I guess not obviously. Some people might do it a little bit differently. Um, for me personally, I tend to melt the same sorts of scents in like my bedroom bathroom all year round. I don't really have them be like themed for fall, winter, spring, summer. Um, it's mainly my open concept and then usually my office, which is where I'm spending the most of most of my time where I'm going to melt seasonally appropriate scents. And that being said too, I'm not great. Like I'm not a super seasonal melter. I really am more of a mood melter with a little bit of a seasonal melter. Like sprinkled in it won't hurt me to melt something that's out of season but I typically do like to stick with what's in season um next I got two fizzy soda saltwater mermaid same sort of story as the pear soda pop I got that in the um saltwater mermaid sampler and I was like oh my god I love this I want it in a loaf um so I just ended up getting two bunts two two pack bunts of this and this is really good very similar to the pear soda pop but less doesn't have like that pear note so it's not as fruity but yeah mm. so good. just fresh you get that fresh like aquatic saltwater mermaid set and then you also get that fizzy soda pop and it's really a good combination I do have like my little like cheat sheet here I'm trying not to show you guys my address um my cheat sheet here so I can talk about the notes on some of them because I do think that some of them um, don't have the notes on the package, but I think they have them on here. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they all have them on the package too. Okay, so on to the last three bunts. I got um, E.T., which is Reese's Pieces Topped Cupcakes. I'm excited to see if this is like super peanut buttery. Stop. I can die happy. That's so good peanut butter chocolate cupcake oh yeah so peanut butter I'm kind of weird and you'll notice there's a little bit of a theme with a lot of the other loaves that I kind of like those salty scents like pretzel that's the theme with the with the other stuff in the box pretzel or peanut butter like those kind of like salt not super sweet bakery type scents if you know what I mean so like they're they're definitely in the bakery family but they're not super sweet peanut butter would be one of those obviously Reese's pieces are going to be peanut butter and chocolate so I do get the chocolate note in this but that is good and um my boyfriend's favorite candy of all time is Reese's he's not a super huge bakery fan but I think he might like that and then the last two that I got are both uh coffee themed ones I got brown sugar pecan caramel macchiato so I'm hoping this is um coffee forward and it certainly is so I get mainly I actually am getting like a, a pretty strong caramel note mixed with a coffee and then the pecan is interesting because it's coming off like slightly savory type selling smelling not super sweet but then of course when you mix that with the caramel it's pretty sweet and then I do get the coffee the coffee is not super like um bitter strong coffee it's definitely like a sweet coffee which would make sense because of the caramel macchiato duh <laughs> next I got blueberry pumpkin spice latte so this one is this nice orange color and these look like pumpkins so I'm hoping the blueberry with the pumpkin spice latte isn't weird but we'll see pumpkin spice latte ah oh like you got a pumpkin spice latte and like you know when you get a pumpkin spice latte from starbucks you take the top off and you can see like the foam and then there's like the pumpkin spice um spice that they shake on top and it's sitting there and you have it like kind of cooling off a little bit and then you got like a blueberry muffin or a blueberry scone and you can smell a little bit of that but really mainly the pumpkin spice latte but this is good this is good I would get more of this I also want to say I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get this video up today um if I do tomorrow Friday morning is going to be a pre un unlimited pre-order it's opens tomorrow at 10 a.m um tomorrow or Friday the 25th depending on when I get this up sorry it will be launching at 10 a.m on Jennifer's site and it's an unlimited pre-order so you can technically order as much or as little 
as you want from the pre-order. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so Peppy Packs um, are the next thing that I got. I got two of the VHS tapes. Again, this is kind of along the lines of that like kind of savory type bakery scent. So this is fresh bread fresh baked bread, donuts, vanilla bean, Noel, and pretzels. So it has that fresh baked bread. I feel like I can't say that very quickly. Fresh baked bread and pretzels. So those are kind of like those doughy, slightly more savory bakery scents. And then there's vanilla bean, Noel, and donuts. So those would be sweeter. So let's see. I've never smelled this one. I've heard lots of great things about it. Yeah. And so I get a lot of um, fresh baked bread and donuts. So like slightly sweeter I mean donuts are fried dough right so that's like a doughy baked dough type scent and then you get the fresh baked bread which is also a baked dough so I get a lot of those two. Oh yeah that's nice and again I don't know what it is about why I like these but like I like these scents that are not super sweet and I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up um mixing them with something that is sweeter or That is good. It kind of reminds me, I don't get a ton of pretzel. Um, it kind of reminds me of like pumpkin donut shop, the Bath and Body Works scent. Except it's slightly less sweet. It doesn't have as much as like that powdered sugar scent that pumpkin donut shop has, but that's yummy. I'm glad I got two of those. And then I got one pack of Hermione, which I should have got two of these because um Lori Brown here on YouTube talks about the scent. Um every so often and she really likes it and I think I'll like it too. I'm also really just curious about the note that says hint of books. Like I'm not really sure what to expect with that um, but the orange cranberry muffin sounds really good. So the notes on this are orange cranberry muffin and a hint of books. So let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I get that hint of books way more than I get the orange cranberry muffin at least on cold but there is like a um fruitiness to this I'm not getting a ton of the baked muffin note like none at all actually but that's something that could come out with curing as well as like when it's actually warming that's interesting. The book's note is, is like almost like powdery floral, but not, I don't know. I mean, like just go smell, just if you're, if you're watching this video, pause, go smell a book that's in your house. Just smell like the pages and you know, or you know, when like you walk into like a library and you smell all the books or Barnes and Noble, like has like a certain scent to it. It's almost like they put that in wax, which I know is crazy. It's like, how do you take that scent and put it in wax it's beside, it's beyond me but again that's why I love Jennifer's blends they're amazing <laughs> um okay so now I got um three of the fluted tarts so first one is my name is Anigo Montoya which is from um the princess bride so I love that movie so I thought it would be it's one of like my family like my entire family is like favorite movies we like to watch together. So this one is Pulvinones. Sorry, probably completely butchered, butchered that. Which is Spanish almond cookies, blueberries, and powdered sugar. I love almond, so I'm hoping I like this. Oh yeah. I get a lot of blueberry. Mainly blueberry. These are hard to hold. Blueberry and almond. Oh, there's the almond. It's a nice sweet almond. Yum. That is good. Yeah. Blueberry almond. And then of course the powdered sugar just adds some sweetness to this. Um, these ones do look like they got maybe a little bit melty in here. Um, but they're overall fine. And I want to say too that these ones you can definitely cut up into multiple pieces. Uh, they're pretty chunky too. Like you could probably even cut those into four pieces or two I probably do two um depending on like where I was gonna put it um and I've mentioned this previously in other videos specifically in like Sensi videos but 
I have a lot of warmers in my house. I like warmers. I think they're pretty. I think they add to decor. So I think why not use them um, as decor? So I have quite a few warmers in my house. So even if I cut my wax up really small or use only one cube in a warmer, I usually have a lot of other warmers going in the same space. So that's why I don't really ever have a problem with performance. Um, but yeah, just wanted to kind of note that. And then I got Violet You're Turning Violet, which is blueberry cobbler pretzels and blackberry jam. There's the pretzel. It's on the hunt for pretzels, I guess. And I get that pretzel in this first things first with blueberry, but I think I'm actually getting more blackberry. Like it's a little bit tarter, more tart. The longer I sniff it, the less pretzel I get and the more fruitiness I get. Mm. But the pretzel certainly will probably come out when it's warming because it is like a bakery type note. A lot of times those take a little bit longer to cure um, and like really get that scent to come out. And then the last four pack of fluted tarts I got was Tin Man. And this is Rainbow Sherbert. Rainbow. Sorry. Rainbow Sherbert Tea and Cakes and Serendipity. So Rainbow Sherbert Fruity Blend Tea and Cakes, which is like, I'm pretty sure most tea and cakes from places are um, tea and like an orange almond cake, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then Serendipity is coconut and cherry and vanilla, usually, from what I've seen. I feel like I'm getting a lot of Rainbow Sherbert. It's kind of like a cake note. Rainbow or rainbow sherbet, but like particularly like orange and cherry is what I'm pulling from the rainbow sherbet and serendipity. Yeah, that's nice. There is like a little bit of something in the background, which I'm guessing is the tea from the tea and cakes that makes it just like a little bit more robust like it's not as fruity and airy and light that you would expect like sh rainbow sherbet and um serendipity to be has that kind of complexity dark deep type note which i think is coming from the tea okay now i have too many basic betty loaves like i don't even want to really you guys will know obviously because i'm going to show you all of them um I don't even want to count them. Just pretend like it's not happening. Okay, so I have cinnamon sugar, brown sugar pretzel. Probably could have picked just like maybe two pretzel blends. Oh, pretzel though, I just, and I know pretzel is one of those scents that a lot of people, it's a love it or hate it for most people. Like some people absolutely are obsessed with pretzel. Some people don't like it. I love it. So, and there is a cinnamon sugar. Oh, Cinnamon sugar in the best way. Cinnamon sugar, I I said, oh, because I like could smell cinnamon sugar when you're walking by um, like Cinnabon in the mall. Oh, yeah. So I guess that would even maybe be the brown sugar and the cinnamon sugar mixed together. And then instead of like a cinnamon roll... So it's basically a cinnamon roll scent, but instead of like just a um, the base of the roll, it's pretzel. Kind of like if you got, my brain's like, a squirrel. Um, kind of like if you got like a cinnamon, a cinnamon roll from Cinnabon, or even if like the Auntie Anne's and the cinnamon Cinnabon are right next to each other, you could smell both. Yum. I will get some good use out of that, especially in the fall winter. Um, then I got Hyder Lane, <laughs> Cider Lane Hufflepuff, and I'm so happy that she poured this because, um, I actually want to say I did a super sneaky order. So <laughs> that I didn't share with you guys, uh, two weeks ago, she was switching over her website to the new website. And she had said that the previous website, she was having a lot of issues with like, um, stock. Basically, sometimes things were oversold. Sometimes, sometimes things were undersold. And when she moved over to the new website, I don't know if these had like always been in her inventory or if she like kind of did like a little bit of a surprise and put them in. So I went and checked because once it was on the new website, I was like, oh, I'll just go see how the new website looks. Um, 
and there were loaves of Hufflepuff and this scent is so good. So this is Cider Lane Hufflepuff so obviously it's Hufflepuff mixed with the Cider Lane scent from Bath and Body Works which to me is like a caramel apple scent um, and I knew that I wanted to try Hufflepuff because I loved the Cider Lane Hufflepuff sample that I had got a while back. Um, so much that I wanted Cider Lane Hufflepuff, but I also wanted Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff itself, I'm saying Hufflepuff a lot, is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon, sugar, and pumpkin pastries. I think it's supposed to say pastries. It says pasties, like, I think it's supposed to say pastries, but maybe not. Um, it is this really amazing, sweet, but not too sweet, but like pumpkin bakery scent. It is so good so good like I'm telling you guys I'm pretty sure she's offering I'm pretty sure she's offering a Hufflepuff sampler I'm gonna be all over that I'm gonna grab that um in the pre-order I'm just so excited so Cider Lane Hufflepuff moral of the story that day that she I saw those online I ordered I think I ordered three or four loaves of plain Hufflepuff I was just like I need those they're on the site I'm getting them and then I was like, I secretly hoping that she'd offer Cider Lane Hufflepuff later or Hufflepuff later in case I wanted to get more. She did offer Hufflepuff, but because I had those four loaves, I just got Cider Lane Hufflepuff. And I know four loaves is a lot, but it's really good. And this is awesome too. So it's that same bakery pumpkin scent with Cider Lane, which has apple in it. So it is like the ultimate fall blend. So good. Oh my gosh, you guys have to get it. Get the Hufflepuff sampler, get Hufflepuff by itself, get Cider Lane, Hufflepuff, get Cider Lane by itself and mix them. Do what you have to do to get this in your life because it's really good. Especially, especially if you like bakery. Um, it does have a bakery base to it, but it's not overly sweet to me at least. It's not like it has like rich frosting or anything like that. Um, okay. Next is watermelon, watermelon spin cycle. Spin cycle, I believe, and this of course doesn't have notes on it. Spin cycle is a laundry blend. So I'm excited to see how this is. Her watermelon's nice too. Yeah, so watermelon, a, a juicy fresh watermelon is what I get first. And then I get that um, laundry note in the back. That's yummy. I, I, I'm trying to decide what kind of laundry is it? Is it wet laundry? Is it fresh laundry drying in the wind? Is it laundry detergent by itself? Those are all good questions. I'm not sure 100%. I would say that it smells like kind of like when you open the laundry after you just did a load and you're about to move it to the dryer and it's still kind of like damp. It's obviously went through the, the spin cycle. Maybe that's why. So it's not soaking wet, but it's damp before you put it in the dryer. Yeah, I don't know. That's really good though. I love watermelon, you guys know. Or maybe you don't. If you're new, hi, welcome. Um, but I love watermelon. Watermelon, I think like my favorite scents of all time are like watermelon, cherry, almond, coconut, um, pretzel apparently. <laughs> I love all those. Okay. Next is pum pumpkin pretzel. Shocker. Um, this is just pumpkin and pretzel, I believe. Yeah, I get pretzel. And I get that like same pumpkin note that's in or similar pumpkin that's in the pumpkin pastries or pasties um, in Hufflepuff. That'll be awesome for fall. This one's kind of light. So I'll definitely let it cure for a while, but that's really good. Pretzel. So delicious and like doughy and not super sweet. And I, I don't know. For some reason, I just really like that. And it gives you a lot of options too, because you can mix it with something sweeter. Like you could mix this with like a, a vanilla frosting scent or vanilla bean buttercream or something and, and give it more sweetness. Um, next I got Mac Apple. Today's October 3rd. And to be frank, I think I kind of blacked out when this launched. I had a very specific list that I was going in for. And then, and you guys can probably relate to this. And then it kind of 
went haywire and I started grabbing random things and yeah anyway Mac Apple today is October 3rd so Apple and today is October 3rd today is October 3rd is Palo Santo Palo Santo Palo Santo sugar cookie royale in toasted malo so I get Mac Apple and then I'm getting Mac Apple mixed with like um marshmallow Oh, and then there's the Palo Santo. So today's October 3rd is a really interesting blend. Again, similar to Hufflepuff. I'd recommend getting your hands on it if you like um, bakery scents, but it's very, it has a twist on it because it has that Palo Santo and toasty note. And Palo Santo, her Palo Santo is really interesting because it's not like burning wood. It's like slightly masculine cologne palo santo and then obviously mixed with the mac apple mixed with the sugar cookie royale mixed with the toasted malo i really feel like i'm getting all of those and i like it i like it a lot um there was a lot of mac apple blends that were on the site available and i think that this is the one i grabbed for some reason i like mac apple so i probably gonna grab to any of them but like I said I kind of blacked out so I just grabbed what I could see um next I got gray sweatpants matter and again this one was one of the ones that was on my list because I had heard great things about it this is steel sugar peppered suede and bergamot waters um bergamot waters is um what's her name uh bath and body works what's her name <laughs> sorry trying to remember it's bath and body works scent which I love. And it says blend credit to Fran Rite. So good job, Fran. It's a, it's a fan favorite from what I've heard. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's deeper and darker than I expected it to be, which I like. It smells like a sexy man. is good it's very deep and dark masculine cologne very deep and dark not at all fresh <laughs> not a fresh masculine cologne in my opinion which is interesting because um bergamot waters is a little bit fresher to me um but not very fresh that scent but it's really good okay next is here's jenny which is pumpkin pecan waffle pretzel bakery bomb i've heard interesting things about the bakery bomb blend um i've also heard great things about her pumpkin pecan waffles i personally which people might not like this am not a huge fan of bath and body works pumpkin pecan waffles it's it's weird to me i don't get like the notes that you should get with it it goes rogue with my nose i guess is what i'll say but i've heard great things about her pumpkin pecan waffles so i'm excited to try it and then obviously pretzel and then bakery bomb which i can't remember what's in bakery bomb but i've heard conflicting opinions on it hmm oh oh oh, oh. i feel like i'm getting a like a syrup type note from the pumpkin pecan waffles When I first smell it, though, the first thing I get is pretzel. Pretzel, then pumpkin pecan waffles, and bakery bomb. I don't know what is really in that blend. I can't remember. But that's good. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Not, like, overly sweet. Maybe the bakery bomb, maybe the reason why people are a little bit eh about it is because the bakery bomb is um, slightly, like, savory. I'm not sure. That's good, though. I like it. I, I'm not sure about what the notes are, but I am sure that I do like it. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I could be just smacked upside the head, I think, because I... Hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to go through these so I can tell you guys what I did and did something that doesn't make any sense. Um, I got two like weirdly similar fizzy pop scents. So I got cherry slushy lemonade, frosty fizzy bubbly, and then I got blue raspberry slushy, cherry slushy fizzy pop. I can feel 
feel like those are too similar to get two giant loaves of them. But my brain wasn't working. I think I ordered this one first. I actually I did place two orders. Um, I ordered this one first because I kind of went in went ham on all of the ones that I had on my list and then I went back and like probably 10 minutes later and did like a second order and I guess I forgot that I had ordered this one and ordered this one also you guys I need to be more careful next time about not going on the Facebook page after because I went on the Facebook page after and I was like you know looking at people's posts of what they got and I was like now I want that and I want that and I want that bad news um so this is the cherry slushy lemonade frosty fizzy bubbly and that's good that's really good I get cherry I get um the frosty fizzy bubbly which I want to say is the one that's supposed to smell like ginger ale I don't get a ton of lemonade like lemonade is not jumping out but I guess if frosty fizzy bubbly is ginger ale like lemonade might kind of meld with that because cherry is obviously like a pretty strong note yeah that's good, that's good. do I need another cherry slushy set after this one maybe not but we'll see maybe there'll be one that I much prefer this one is blue raspberry slushy cherry slushy fizzy pop and so this one is going to be really dang similar <laughs> to the last one. I thought I saw a little tear down here. No, I didn't think so. That was just my brain. Yeah, so this is a little sim a little bit different. Like you get the blue raspberry no instead and I don't know how to describe it but fizzy pop is different than frosty fizzy bubbly frosty fizzy bubbly smells like ice cold and fizzy pop smells more like effervescent and like sugary almost but yeah that's a good blend um again not sure I needed both I think that if I had to choose one over the other I like this combination just a little bit more uh, but we'll see after curing and melting and everything. Um, next up, I got Butcher Knife. This one is Graham Crackers, Pumpkin, Toasted Mallow, and Leaves. I love leaves. Oh, yeah. So I get um, the Graham Crackers and Toasted Mallow I'm getting first. Which is interesting because leaves is such a strong scent. I get pumpkin. I'm not getting a ton of leaves. Like... Not at all, really. Maybe a tiny bit in the background. Interesting. It's good, though. Yeah, graham crackers and toasted mallow. That's what I'm getting the majority of. Um, it's nice. I feel like if you wanted to up the toasted, the toasty fire quality of this, you could um, mix it with today's October 3rd. And I totally thought of that. That's why I had ordered an entire today's October 3rd because I'm a crazy person. Again, I'm not sure why I ordered Mac Apple today's October 3rd. Today is October 3rd. I could have just done one. I don't know. Um, this one is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Malo. It's so good. You have to try it for yourself. It's interesting. It's unique. It there's a reason why everyone talks about this blend because it is unique and interesting and it serves a lot of purposes it's sweet it's bakery it's also toasty and dark and fiery it's also slightly maybe masculine with the palo santo yum yum i'm not sure how someone thought of that blend and was like oh let's just put these things together they might work this totally works. Then my favorite, well, okay. So I got um, one of the mystery boxes. I believe I got the medium. I want to say it was the medium. And it came with an array of amazing items. And one of the items was a puppy pack and blackberry sugar, sorry, blackberry sugar cookie royale Palo Santo. And I asked her to pour it in a loaf and she's amazing. And she poured it in a loaf. Maybe, maybe that was because of me. It could have been she looked at someone else's 
um, or she already thought she was going to. But this is so good. So Sugar Cookie Royale and Palo Santo is obviously going to be really similar to Today is October 3rd. But because it doesn't have that toasted marshmallow note and it's replaced with blackberry, it just has this like ever so slight blackberry note. And it's interesting, again, because it has sugar cookie royale in it, but it's not overly bakery. And I think it's because blackberry, a lot of times, at least in my opinion, it comes off slightly perfumey. Oh my god, it's so good. And then, of course, you mix that slightly perfumey blackberry with slightly cologne Palo Santo. With sugar cookie royale just sweeten it up. So good. So good. I'm so excited that she poured that um, because it is amazing. And once I got the puppy pack of it, it was like one of the things in that mystery box that I smelled. And I was like, wow, this is really good. I need more of this. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, is the Basic Betty Pride Loaf. So this is the one that I kind of alluded to earlier um, when I talked about the sticker that she sent. This is a special edition Pride themed loaf. And she did this obviously for Pride Month and she also donated some of the money. Um, can't remember which organization she donated it to. Maybe it was the Trevor Project, but I can't remember. Um, but either way I'm happy to support it and get an awesome scent out of it and this is awesome this is white elephant exchange blackberry lemon curd I like her lemon curd I like blackberry and I like white elephant exchange really honestly though white elephant exchange to me is a lighter bakery scent and especially when it's mixed with blackberry and lemon curd those are definitely the forefront blackberry and lemon curd lemon curd number one blackberry second and then white elephant exchange that also being said white elephant exchange might come out more when it's cured and then it also might come out more when it's actually warming so we'll see i am curious to see if this is layered you guys okay so it's a rainbow isn't that beautiful and in the pre-order tomorrow she's doing um Again, the pre-order starts tomorrow. It also will go for a little while longer. I'm dropping wax everywhere. Um, I think it goes until like the 5th of July, but um, that's really good. It, my point is in the pre-order that starts tomorrow, there'll be a scoopable that's in, um, what she call it? Cookie therapy craze, which is cotton candy craze in cookie therapy. So I might get one of those as well. To support the cause, obviously, but then, of course, we get really good um, wax out of it. So I'm not going to complain about that. So, yeah, awesome. It feels good to support, obviously, a small business like Jennifer, support a cause that is near and dear to everyone's hearts, really, um, and then also get some awesome wax out of it. I'm not going to complain at all about that. So that is everything that I picked up in this ridiculously way too big order. I'm going to go quite a bit smaller with the pre-order, I think. I really am just wanting to get my hands on some of the samplers. She has a ton of really awesome samplers that are coming out. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of slow my roll really on every vendor or wax company that I purchase from just because I just, I have, I have a lot, especially now that I've already started to build my fall and winter kind of, um, melting baskets. I just don't need more really. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks everyone so much for watching and I'll see you all on my next one. Oh wait, hold on a second. I almost forgot samples. Oh my gosh. You really can't make this up. I was just thinking, did I forget to say anything? And then I was like, ah. yes you did. Okay. I forgot these. One second. Let me pop these ones out. So three samples. I love her samples because they make me want to buy other stuff. Ooh, Flying Fox. That might be one that's coming in the pre-order. I can't remember. Oh, that's a nice outdoorsy fresh scent. Slightly floral. Hmm. Slightly um, suntan lotion, maybe. Good. Um, next, I have White Witch. Peppermint. Whoa. 
not peppermint. What is that? Minty of some sort, I think. It's a very specific type of mint that I can't put my finger on right now, so I apologize. Almost like icy, oh, there we go. Almost like icy hot. That type of like minty, fresh. Whew, that's good. I think that'll be nice in the bathroom. And then the last is Flying Monkeys, which I think is a banana type scent. Yeah, so definitely banana. There's other stuff in there, but mainly banana. Almost like a banana and like graham cracker or chocolate, maybe, I don't know. Good, yum. I'm one of those weirdos that likes, I guess I'm one of those weirdos like pretzels and scents and also banana. Some people are like really hit or miss for banana, but now for the actual ending of this video, that is everything that I picked up from L3. Thanks everyone so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.